I was helping a student with some unwrapping problems recently and I thought it would be a good idea to show other people on the types of problems you're likely to come across when unwrapping. If you want a complete breakdown of unwrapping, then do check out my unwrapping playlist, link in the description. Okay, so here's an interesting problem of an unwrapping issue. And you can see the unwrap there. We've got lots of sections that are overlapping themselves. So if I come in and have a look at the unwrap, the student has tried to cut the glove, as it were, in half, which makes a lot of sense. That's what you want to do with this sort of shape. Cut it in half and you should get two kind of glove looking things like this, but there's something going wrong here. Usually the initial issue that is commonly the case is that you've just missed the seam somewhere. So let's say in here, for example, one of these edges aren't quite hooked up and you get an awkward unwrap like this. So that's the first thing to check. Have you connected all your seams and are there any gaps? It's a really easy thing to miss, but that's not the case in this situation. Uh, this runs all the way around and it cuts it in half nicely. So there's something else going wrong. Now, the first two things that I always check for are doubles and face orientation. We'll start with doubles. I'm in edit mode, go to vertex mode, select all with A and then press M merge by distance. And you can see there's no vertices removed just there. So any vertices that were on top of each other should be merged by this action. But in this case, it didn't make a difference. The next thing to check is the face orientation. It's rare that it causes an unwrapping problem, but it's always good to check. So we go up to the overlays here, turn on face orientation and your whole mesh should look blue unless it's an inside face like this, which looks red. If you have got a problem, then select all and press shift N and that will recalculate the normals. And you can see if I turn them to the inside, it goes all red, but we want them on the outside. So again, there's no problems with that in this case. So this is a bit more complicated and needs further investigation. It's a good idea to take away any distractions. So let's isolate the shape. So forward slash on your numpad. So we've just got that shape and no distractions of the body. And also I think turning off any modifiers is a good idea. So you can just go to these display options here, turn them all off so they're not interfering. They shouldn't affect the unwrap in any way. So that's not going to cause a problem. So it's a little bit clearer and easier to see where the unwrap is. Now let's go to wireframe mode to see if there's any obvious issues like inside faces. So Alt Z to go to wireframe. It's a little bit tricky to see. I'll go to face mode and see if I can spot anything. It can be a little bit tough. Let's select one in here, for example, zoom in on it. So my camera is centered around that shape and have a good look around. Can't see anything. Oh, yes, I can now. There's one just there. So that inside face is joining these two kind of seamed areas up and causing us problems. So we need to delete that, delete faces. Is that the only problem? Let's have a look. Select all, new to unwrap and then unwrap. Still a problem here, so there must be another inside face somewhere else. So just looking through the mesh, looking for this inside face. Very tricky to see, can't see it anywhere at the moment. Ah, yep, there we go. You can see it's just slightly shaded different. It's this one just here. So if I delete that, hopefully now. Oh, I can see one here as well, just there. Another inside face, really easy to do. Um, you just have to select a couple of vertices. And instead of pressing G, you press the F key, which is next to it, which fills in a face for you, which is a bit annoying, really. So I'll delete that face. And I think we're probably there. A, select all, U to unwrap, unwrap. And you can see this is the sort of unwrap we should be getting. And now I can start texturing like a pro. Hope that helps.